Hello and welcome to Crojo Corner where you always get free patterns. My name is Laura and today I have 35 free Christmas crochet patterns to share with you. They are all very unique and very beautiful and they are all beginner friendly. And just before um, I start greeting at one, everyone that's in the room right now for this live stream, I just wanted to say thank you if you were watching the replay and thank you so much if you are here in the chat. Let me just go through and greet everyone that's here live and then we'll go ahead and start in getting into the patterns. Hi, Cammy, the Yarny Horseman. He says, I am going to have to catch the replay. My mom insists I'm going to run errands 10 minutes into your live stream. Ah, oh, man. But thanks for watching the live stream and we will miss you, Cammy. Roberta S. says, good afternoon, Laura, and everyone coming in. Hi, Roberta. How are you? It's good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. And let's see here. Sparkly Pat's Crochet and More says, hello, everyone. Hello, Sparkly Pat. Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. Becky D. says, hello, Yarny friends. I'm working and lurking today as usual and hopefully can chime in occasionally. How you doing today, Becky? It's good to see you. And Katrina says, good afternoon, sis Laura, and to each and every one of you in the chat. Hello, sis Katrina. How are you? I hope you're doing good today. Sean Crafty says, hi, happy Monday. Hi, Sean. How are you? Yes, and my uh, computer just decided to restart by itself right as I was getting ready to click the live button, but luckily I'm here. And Becky D says, Sean, it's Monday for you. And Becky's saying hello to me. And Dana's Wanderlust Crochet says, hey, girl, hello, Dana. How are you? It's good to see you. How are you? Are you on the road right now? And Zach's Crafts and More says, hey, Laura. Hi, Zach. It's good to see you. So let's check out some of these really awesome Christmas patterns that I picked out for you guys today. And uh, I think you're going to really enjoy them. I'll get back to the chat in just a few minutes, but I do have 35 patterns. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, let's see here. The first one is called the Bobble Christmas Tree Skirt. And this is by C. Love Share. This is so pretty. And this is using Red Heart Super Saver Aaron Weight and a five and a half millimeter hook. I love the texture of the bobbles. I mean, that's a real yarn eater, but it's really gorgeous. You know, I'd love to have a crochet tree skirt, but my cat would completely tear that up with his claws. <laughs> I can tell you that right now, but this is really cute. And it doesn't look like it's that hard either. And this is by Sea Love Share. All the patterns that I'm showing you today, you can find them on Ravelry.com. But the uh, patterns are sometimes on their blog or they are free uh, PDFs on Ravelry. This one happens to be on, on their blog. So you'll just click the link at the very bottom. And then here is your free pattern. Isn't that cool? And Zach is saying hello to Katrina. Bonnie says hello. Hello, Bonnie Got Knits and More. How are you? It's good to see you. And Dana's on the road. Well, you stay safe, Dana, and I hope that you have a good day. And uh, Katrina says, hi, Zach's Crafts and More. Zach says, we got lots of snow. It's pretty to look at. Oh, you know, I love snow. We had a little bit of flurries here the other day, but it's really cold now. It's like 20 something degrees. And Katrina says, Zach said he was going to go out and play in the snow later. <laughs> he says, yep, going to build a snowman with Katrina, LOL. <laughs> Do you guys really like snow? I don't think you like snow, do you, Zach? And Darcia says, hello, Crojo Corner in chat. Hi, Darcia. Thank you for coming in. It is great to see you. We are looking at some really pretty um, crochet Christmas patterns. And this is the first one, which is called Bobble Christmas Tree Skirt by C. Love Share. And then if you're uh, familiar with Mr. Hanky, the Christmas Poo from, <laughs> from South Park, this is a crocheted one. And this is designed by Maggie McGee. This is Mr. Hanky the Christmas Poo. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you have to see him on South Park. <laughs> and uh, he's really funny. He jumps all around and he leaves little marks all over the place. Really funny. Thought that was cute. This is using worsted weight and a four millimeter hook. And if you click right here at the very bottom, there is a blog post that you can click on and it will open up the free pattern right here. It's not opening on my StreamYard, but it is opening for me. I ju you just can't see it because StreamYard is blocking it for some reason. And then we have this adorable crochet Christmas Santa bookmark. This is perfect if you're giving someone a book for Christmas. This is designed by Drops Design using sport weight and a 2.5 millimeter hook. I think that's really cute with the little arms and the head. And then it's real flat. And then the feet stick out the bottom. That's really, really cute. And Donna says, hello, Laura and all in the chat. Hi, Nati and Donna. How are you? It's good to see you. And Sparkly Pat's Crochet and More says, I have the word trailer flashing here. Anyone else? The what? 
word trailer? What does that mean? And Zach says, no, I'm not a fan of snow at all. I didn't think so. I thought I remembered that. Katrina says, oh, no, you are going to build it all by yourself. <laughs> you guys probably really hate snow being up there in Canada. You get a lot of it. Um, let's see here. And so this is for free. If you scroll down to the very bottom and you click this link right here for Garn Studio and you click that link, it'll open up your free pattern for you right here. And there is also a UK version if you prefer that, if you are in the UK. And this is uh, from Drops Design. Now here I have three different patterns from the same designer. And this is a really cute set. This is a Christmas mug cozy with a little Santa belt. And this is designed by Joe Edwards, J-O. And um, on Ravelry, you have to pay to get the PDF, but it is for free on her blog using uh, loops and threads, impeccable yarn, air and weight, and a five millimeter hook. So let's just look at this real quick. That's so cute. That would be a great teacher's gift. And this is what it looks like laid flat. And see, it has a little button here and then a little loop closure so you can wrap it around your mug. That's really cool. So this is by Joe Edwards. And if you scroll down to the very bottom here doo -doo -doo, and you click this link, that will take you right to Joe to the world. Uh, that is her blog. And there you will have your free pattern. I love that. And Roberta says, we have about two to three inches of snow. It is only 25 degrees Fahrenheit here in Northeast Ohio. Oh, wow. You have that much snow in Ohio. We just had a little dusting and that was it. It never even stuck to the roads. And Katrina says, we got almost two feet of snow now. Oh, wow. That's very Christmassy. And more to come. Ew, fun. And um, it says it's 23 degrees and sunny here. That's what my computer says right now. And I'm just so worried because there's like a colony of little feral cats in my neighborhood. And they're all running all around, little kittens and a bunch of cats. And I just am so worried about them freezing. I wish that uh, the town would come and get them. Zach says, Katrina is also going to do a snow angel, LOL. One year I did do a snow angel and I recorded it on Facebook. Um, we had a ton of snow and uh, my one friend bet me that I wouldn't do it. And so I put on my husband's like one piece snow suit and I went out there and I totally did the snow angel and it felt great. It was fun. And Katrina says, I will do that. Sparkly Pat's crochet and Maura says, be right back. Need a reboot phone. Katrina loves the mug cozy. And Roberta says, Cleveland is supposed to get about two feet of snow today. Oh, wow. I haven't been watching the news lately. It's too depressing. So maybe that's why I didn't know about that. But this is so cute. Christmas mug cozy by Joe Edwards. And then we have a toilet paper holder, which matches by the same designer, Joe Edwards. That's really cute. Love it. That's really, really cute. And then if you scroll down to the very bottom, do do do, and you click the link right there at the bottom, you will get your free pattern. And if anybody wants to drop the link to their channel, just type the word Crojo Corner, all one word, and Nightbot will drop the link to your channel so other people can join your family. Now, this is great if you are uh, going to someone's house for Christmas dinner, you know, a nice little hostess gift, a bottle of wine. This is called the Christmas Wine Bottle Holder by Joe Edwards. This is really cute. This would be fast to make up. I think I might make one of these for my hairstylist. I think she would love that. So cute. And then if you scroll down to the very bottom, that's where you get your free pattern. If you click that link right there, there you go. Let me catch up in chat real quick. Darcy is saying hello to everyone. And Pat says uh, she's back. Problem solved. Awesome. And uh, Yarnworks and Crafts and More by Lydia says, hi, Laura, and everyone in the chat. Hello, Lydia. Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. Katrina saying hi to Darcia. Aisha's Handmade Item says, hi, Laura. Hope all is well. Blessings. How are you, Aisha? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing good. Katrina says, oh, that is a cool toilet paper holder, isn't it, though? And darcia has got a long-distance phone call. And Lydia's dropping her link. And so is Aisha. And Sabrina says, good morning, Laura and friends in the chat. Just checking to give you a thumbs up and let you know I'll watch the replay when I get back from Bible studies. Getting ready for it right now. Well, thank you. I do appreciate that, Sabrina. And you have fun at your Bible study. That's awesome. Okay. So 
This is called the Christmas Wine Bottle Holder by Joe Edwards. And then we have this really cute gift bag. Now, how nice is that? That you can make your own gift bags and then they can keep them and use them for something else, repurpose them or give them away. And this is by Louise Bolanos, B-O-L-L-A-N-O-S. Using super bulky weight and a five millimeter hook, you need 100 to 120 yards. Now she's got a few different colors here. Ooh, that's cute. This one reminds me of the Grinch. These are really nice. Oh, I like that one too. Looks like a candy cane. And so this, um, you have to pay for the Ravelry download, but if you scroll all the way down to the bottom right here and on her blog, handylittleme.com, if you click that link, it will take you. And it's, look, she has six free patterns for these crochet gift bags. And you can get all of these patterns right here. That's really cute. Boop, 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 boop. Ads, ads, ads. Got to click on the ads sometimes so they get money too. And check this hat, hat out. This is called the Christmas Tree Hat by Melissa Hassler. This is really, really cute. This would be great for teachers, you know, especially for like little kindergarten teachers or something like that. And this is called um, Christmas Tree Hat by Melissa Hassler. Aaron Weight Yarn, Red Heart Super Saver Solids, a five and a four millimeter hook. Is that not the cutest little hat you've ever seen? Love it. And Dana's Wonderless Crochet says, it's great to see you, to see all of you in the chat. I will be driving and listening. Thank you so much for that, Dana. And you stay safe driving. I wonder where you're driving to. Where are you right now? Where in the world is Dana? Hmm, she goes all over the place. She drives a semi-truck, if you didn't know that. Okay, so if you scroll all the way down, you can see where you can get it for free on lovableloops.com. You click that link right there at the bottom, and it'll take you straight to this uh, Christmas tree hat pattern. That's really cute. And then I thought this was funny, St. Cricolus. <laughs> this is by Ashley Parker. And um, this is using Bernat Premium, Aaron Waite, and a 3.5 millimeter hook because it's a little cactus, get it? St. Cricolus. <laughs> oh, I thought that was so funny. So cute, especially if you live like in Arizona or somewhere where they have uh, cactus all over the place, cacti, cactus, I don't know. And this is by Ashley Parker, and you can get that for free if you scroll all the way to the bottom and click on the link, and that takes you to the loopylamb.com where you can um, get her free pattern. Sandrine's here. She says, hi, all came to leave my DNA. It's nap time. Thank you for the DNA. I do appreciate that, Drini. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're feeling good. And Dana says, Southern Oregon headed to Northern California. Ooh, awesome. You stay safe, Dana, on the road. Be careful. No, no typing and driving. <laughs> all right. You're always going fun places. So this is called St. Prickolus. I like saying that. St. Prickolus. He's a little cacti. Okay, now look at this little guy. This is Martha the Christmas Snail. I should say little girl. She's so cute. Look at this. Isn't that adorable? Love that. That reminds me of Gary the Snail from SpongeBob. We actually grabbed, one time we went to um, Disney World in Florida, and there was a little snail that was climbing around, you know, I don't know, climbing, slithering around on the grill outside when it was all raining. And we decided to keep him and we brought him back and we had him for a long time. Isn't that so cute? And that's called Martha the Christmas Snail. And you can get that for free if you scroll down to this link right here. And this is elisascrochet.com. And here is your free pattern for the snail. So cute. Now, this is uh, along the same lines as the other Christmas uh, Santa belts, but this is designed by Tara Marie, and this is using super bulky weight, and um, let's see, she doesn't say what size hook, but it is an 18 by 18 inch pillow. This would be easy and quick to make up for Christmas this year if you have time. And let's see, really cute. And you can get that for free if you scroll all the way down to the bottom. And this is on foxandpinestitches.com. Click that link right there at the bottom. And it'll take you straight to the pattern. And 
The, these remind me of Ursula because they are Granny Square Christmas stockings. Now, this happens to be a free Ravelry download, so you could just download the PDF straight to your computer. Aren't those cute? And then here's two more. These would be easy and fun to make, right? Love those. And these are designed by Whitney Lem, L-E-M-M-E. -E. Is it Lem or Leme? I'm not really sure. Thought those were really cute. This is using worsted weight and a four millimeter hook. And it's a free Ravelry download. I love those. The free Ravelry downloads are great. Now, these are really cute too. Bobbles. These are tabletop Christmas tree cones by Ling Ryan. Look at these. So I wonder if you're putting these over like a styrofoam cone or something. I'm not really sure. But these are cute. Has anybody started making anything for Christmas? Let me know in the chat. I would love to know what you're making. Look, this one's 12 by 5. That's a nice size tree. And if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, doop -a -doop, hookedonpatterns.com is the website. And if you click that, you'll get your free pattern right there. And let's see here. Faith is here. I saw one of them completed. Ooh, which one are you talking about? What are you talking about, Faith? Which pattern? And Donna says, hello to Darcia. Cammie says, I never left. I wasn't dragged out to run errands. Yay. Glad you're here, Cammie. Thank you for being here. Faith, let me know which, um, what you're talking about, which pattern you're talking about. I'd like to know. I get behind. Oh, the granny square stockings. Oh, really? You saw one completed? Those are really super cute. And Bonnie says, I made five of red and green along uh, long elf hats for teachers. Oh, that's fun. That's really fun. I love the long elf hats. That's really sweet of you. And um, Lydia saying hi to Cammie. All right. These are really cute. And then we've got a Christmas mouse by Z-H-A-Y-A -A Zaya Designs. This is a free Ravelry download. And this is really sweet. And here it is with a little hat and stocking. And then here it is by itself. That's a sweet little mouse. Isn't that precious? It'd be nice for a little kid. And this is a free Ravelry download using fingering weight and a two millimeter hook. And then we've got these cute little gingerbread men. This is also a free Ravelry download using Aaron weight, a three and a four millimeter hook. You need 100 to 150 yards. Aren't those precious? Love it. And this is by Eleanor Irvine. She designed that. Did I say who? Oh, yes, I did say that. And then let's see. Check out this pillow. This is beautiful. The Christmas Snowflake Pillow by Carmen Heffernan. I love Carmen Heffernan's designs. She's using sport weight and a five and a 4.5 millimeter hook. This is so pretty. And you could do any color scheme. Like you could make this blue, use it all winter long. It would look like, you know, be great for January. And let me catch up in chat here. Everyone's saying hello. That mouse is so cute, says Darcia. I agree. I think so, too. The Crafty Gypsy says, hello, everyone. Hello, Crafty Gypsy. Thank you for coming in. It's great to see you. Bonnie says, I also knitted four blankets as gifts and gave winter knitted dog sweaters to family and a friend as early gifts. Boy, you have been busy, Bonnie. That is awesome. Very sweet of you to do all that. And Bonnie's saying hello to Darcia. You guys are so uh, productive. I wish I could be that productive. I probably since Friday, since I last saw you, when I showed you my blanket, I think I've done maybe six rows. <laughs> That's all. Like some of you guys just woo, whip out those projects. I wish I could whip those projects out. But this is so pretty. This is called the Christmas Snowflake Pillow by Carmen Heffernan. Click right here at this uh, link right at the bottom and it will take you straight to the free pattern. Cammie says, in a few months, I will be asking my cousin, cousin-in-law, what color or colors she wants for her baby's room and her favorite color or colors for her shawl. Ooh, that's awesome. So she must be um, pregnant, getting ready to have a, getting ready to have a little bundle of love. How fun is that? Look at these beautiful Christmas bell ornaments by Christy Selkin, S-E-L-K-E-N. This is using worsted weight and a four millimeter hook. These are gorgeous. Love it. 
so pretty. And let's see, worsted weight four millimeter hook. And if you would like to see the full pattern, you click here. It says sparklesofsunshine.com. Ooh. And here's your free pattern. And Bonnie says, <clears throat> I posted a new video yesterday showing everything. I'm going to have to check that out, Bonnie. Thank you for letting us know. Make sure you go check out all of Bonnie's awesome um, presents that she knit and crocheted. Did you crochet the hats or did you knit the elf hats? I don't remember what you said. Um, this is Christmas Owl Coaster by Sarah Zimmerman. These are really cute using Aaron Waite and a five millimeter hook. Aren't those so cute? You could probably whip these up really fast. How fun. Sarah Zimmerman has some good uh, patterns. I think I did a designer spotlight on her. I'm not sure. And this is on repeatcraftorme.com. If you click the link right there at the very bottom, it will open up for you. StreamYard's not letting me open it for you. But it's opening for me, so it is active. Now, this is, um, this is called the Christmas Star by Durable Yarn using bulky weight. A 2.5 and a 3.5 millimeter hook. This comes in English, Dutch, French, and German. So that's really cool. Look at how cute that is. And look at that with the little elf. That's super sweet. And you can find this pattern on her blog. If you scroll down on DurableYarn.com and click that link, there's your free pattern. And Cammie says, yes, she is. I have the habit of making a blanket for the baby and a shawl for the new mommy. My sister is the exception to the shawl. You didn't make your sister a shawl? <laughs> That's really thoughtful of you to do that for people. I bet they appreciate it. Bonnie says, the hats are crocheted from J-Hook Crochet. Oh, yes. That's awesome. J-Hook Crochet has good stuff. I need to make some of those little hats. My daughter would love to have a long elf hat, I bet. Thank you for sharing that, Bonnie. So these are called uh, Christmas Star by Durable Yarn. And look at this gift bag. Oh, Christmas pudding gift bag. So cute. And this is using Erin Waite, a five and a six millimeter hook. You need three to 400 yards. Isn't that cute? They make a cute little project bag too. Oh, look, here's one with a little penguin. That's super sweet. And this is designed by Heather Mary Fernell. And um, if you're just joining, all of the patterns I'm showing today can be found on Ravelry.com, but a lot of them are uh, linked in their blogs. So I always show you which where the link is and where you can go to get the free pattern if there is no um, free PDF. So this you'll scroll down, scroll down to the bottom and click the link right here, and it will open up the free pattern for you for your little free bag. <clears throat> Cammie says, my sister doesn't wear shawls. I don't wear shawls either. I have a few, but I don't ever wear them. And Katrina says, nice gift bag. I know. I thought it was so cute. I love any kind of bag, like especially crocheted bags are so fun. I have a lot of great patterns to share with you guys today. I just was having so much fun. And Darcia says, that's pretty. I think so too. I really do. So this is called the Christmas Lights Blanket by Sarah Zimmerman. She has great patterns. Uh, this is using Bernat Super Value Solids, Aaron Weight, a five millimeter hook. It measures 35 by 25 inches. That is so Christmassy and beautiful. Love that. And then here it is spread out. Let me just take a little sip of coffee. What is everyone drinking today? I have hot coffee in my cup. And I have my favorite water right here. I love the flavored water from Aldi. It's so good. I drink that so much easier than I can drink regular water. So this is called Christmas Lights Blanket. Scroll down to the bottom right here and click that link. And it will open up your free pattern for you. StreamYard's being a jerk. It's not opening it up for me. But it's right here. Just click that and it will open up your free pattern. And look at this C2C blanket. This is called the Christmas Tree Pixel Square. And this is um, second in the series of nine blocks to make a Christmas afghan. So this is part of your afghan. And this is designed by Sarah Zimmerman on Repeat Crafter Me. And if you guys haven't hit the thumbs up yet, I really would appreciate it. It helps out a lot. And 
Casimira Polit says, Crojo Corner still having trouble with the magic ring. Oh, no. Did you watch my magic ring tutorial? I have a little magic ring tutorial uh, short on my channel. Check that out. It should help you. It's really easy. If Once you get started, just watch that tutorial and kind of go through it slowly and maybe you'll get it. It took me a little while to uh, get the hang of it too. Sean Crafty says, that's really cute. I thought so too. I've got a couple of these really cute um, C to C blankets on here or C to, yeah, C to C patterns, I should say. Isn't that so cute? And um, if you click this link right here at the very bottom, that'll take you straight to the free pattern. And then I really like this Christmas tree graph headband. This is really pretty. Um, this is using Aaron Waite five millimeter hook and it's available in toddler child and adult sizes using red heart soft solids and heathers isn't that nice i love that really cute i like that with the little bows on it like that looks real um like rustic and this is designed by maria bittner you can scroll all the way down to the bottom and you click this uh, link right here and it'll take you straight to the free pattern and there you go. And let's see. Yes, it is. I just have no patience. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. I don't have that much patience either, but you just have to practice. Practice makes perfect. That's what they say. <laughs> oh, so let's go back here. And then here, I thought this was cute. Too bad V is not in the chat. This is Christmas Llama by Melissa Hassler. And this is using Red Heart Super Savers, Air and Weight, and a four millimeter hook. And this is uh, for free on her blog. I thought that was really cute. And then here is um, her blanket all put together with all four images. This is a different blanket than the one I was showing you prior with the Christmas tree. There's a little sloth. I don't know, is that a, a little dog, a little Frenchy dog dressed up as Santa, a little reindeer. So cute. Melissa Hassler is the designer. So if you scroll down here and you click this link at lovableloops.com, it will open up your pattern right there. Darcia says, love that pattern with the trees. I know. Isn't it pretty? Faith says, Mara would love the sloth. Yes, she would. Where is Mara? She's probably working, huh? All right, so now we have another uh, mug cover. This is uh, by Crochet and Create Christmas mug cover. This is really sweet. This is using DK weight, four millimeter hook. Isn't that so sweet? I like how they glued the little reindeer on the on the front there. That's like their, oh, I guess that's their button. It's a reindeer button. That's nice. Let's see. And Darcia says, now that's a cool cat. Isn't it though? I love it. And Zach says, sorry, I got in the baking mood. So baking a cake. Awesome. What kind of cake are you making? Chocolate cake. That's my favorite. Are you making it from scratch? Or are you using a mix? So here you go. This is called Cro uh, Christmas Mug Cover by Crochet and Create. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can get this pattern for free on her blog. If you just click that link right there. And there you go. And check out this cute little elf, Christmas Elf by Julie Erskine. And this is using DK weight and a three millimeter hook. It's about time for the elf on the shelf to come out. We have a lot of elves on the shelf. I have all kinds of little elves. Just like I have all kinds of little fairies over here. I love my little, my little characters. Isn't that so cute? Oh, he's adorable. Look at that little face. I just love that. <clears throat> Cammie says, I have a home for yet another shawl. My cousin had her son, May 5th, 2022, and got her blanket ready since a few months after her son was born, but no shawl. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. At least you have a shawl, a place for your shawl to go now. That's really sweet of you. Bonnie says, Joanne's has that button, part of a set with Mr. and Mrs. Claus tree reindeer. I used two on the brim edge of each hat. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you for sharing that, Bonnie. I thought that was really cute. I love that little reindeer. 
Zach says, chocolate fudge cake. I admit I am using a mix. That's all right. Nothing wrong with using a mix. Cammy says, thank goodness for the make ahead stash. Yes, that's always nice to have gifts set aside and made. I need to practice what I preach because I don't do that. I still have to make everything. So this is called Christmas Elf by Julie Erskine. And it's for free. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom and click this link right here, it'll take you straight to her free pattern. That's adorable, isn't it? And this is super cute. Now check out this one. This is the Christmas Tree Truck Blankets by Megan Meyer. These are really popular a few years ago, those red trucks with the Christmas trees in the back. And this is using Aaron Waite and a five and a half millimeter hook. Let's see, it's not zooming in. Ooh, there you go. That's really cute. I've never done a C to C. That's something I need to, need to get busy on. Need to learn that. I learned how to do mosaic and that was pretty easy. So I'm sure I could do C to C. I just need to try it. So this is using um, Aaron Waite five and a half millimeter hook. They use loops and threads, impeccable. Excuse me. And then if you scroll down to the bottom and go to leftinknots.com, click that link at the bottom. It will take you straight to the free pattern. And here's a really cute pillow. This is called Christmas Tree Pillow by Joe Edwards. I seem to have a lot of her things on here. This is using loops and threads, impeccable air and weight, and a five millimeter hook. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's see if we can zoom in. That's really pretty. Really pretty. I love those colors together. That dark green is nice. And Cammy says, four shawls have homes, four don't have homes as of yet. Ooh, well, that's nice that you have a lot of uh, stash put away for Christmas time in case you need to give one away. You, you're you ready to go. Is your sister planning on having any more kids? Now, I like this because it's open in the back so that you can take it off and wash it. That's really handy. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom here, and go to Joe to the world and click that link. It takes you straight to the free pattern. Now, I really like this little wall hanging. This is called the Christmas tree wall hanging by Sierra Mation. And this is using bulky weight and an eight millimeter hook. I thought that was really cool. Really boho style. I'm a big fan of those baubles. Darcia says, you know, I need to make that Christmas tree pillow. Isn't it pretty? I love it. It's very festive. I like this too. This is a cool idea. And uh, did I say this is using bulky weight and an eight millimeter hook? You need 130 to 140 yards. And if you go down here, click the link. It says freshknack.com and click that. It'll take you straight to the free pattern. There you go. Cammie says, my answer is yes, but I don't know what her answer is. <laughs> That's funny. I bet she begs to differ, right? <laughs> That's funny. And then we have these cute uh, Christmas pot holders by Raffaella Tassoni. And this is um, using DK weight and a three millimeter hook. Aren't those adorable? Love that. Those are really festive. Those might do well at a craft show this time of year with the little Christmas pudding ones or the little peppermint ones. Oh, look, and then she's got reindeer and gingerbread men. So cute. So you can get this for free if you scroll all the way down to the bottom here. And you click this link right here, and it'll take you straight to her free pattern. And if you haven't hit the thumbs up yet, I would really appreciate it if you did. It helps me out a lot and it doesn't cost a single cent. That's the great part about it. All right. Now we've got a Christmas tree coaster. Um, this is by Suzanne Carlson and they're using uh, four millimeters, uh, worsted weight, uh, wait, blah, blah, worsted weight yarn and a four millimeter hook. You need 70 yards. These look really easy for a nice little mosaic Christmas gift. 
That'd be nice with a matching mug cozy, wouldn't it? You could probably make a mug cozy out of that. Katrina says, those pot holders are cute, aren't they? I like it. I like them a lot. They'd be fun to make, too. I like these, too. I want to make my friend a set of these. And these are by Suzanne Carlson. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you click the link, and it takes you to craftingeachday.com. And there is the free pattern for you. And let's see here. Granny! Granny says, hey, Laura, honey, I was running a couple of short errands. How are you doing today, Granny? It's good to see you. How are you feeling today? And Mirabella's Hook says, hi, Laura and Chad. Hi, Mirabella. How are you? It's good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Cammie says, on Thanksgiving, I had my eyes watching Emma make a mess with those shoes, and my brother-in-law was getting mad at me for going to get her right away. Aw. You were just trying to, you were just trying to keep up, right? Katrina says, hi, Mama D, Granny D. And Katrina has been a member for 10 months. Thank you so much for that, Katrina. I do appreciate that. And this is for you, my friend. Let me get your video. This is your member milestone video. Thank you so much, Katrina. Thank you for being a member for 10 months. That's awesome. And uh, Granny says, doing well so far today. Woohoo! How do you do all here? That's good to hear, Granny. Darcy is saying hello to everyone. And Cammie says, I told him I was watching Emma and I would get her if she got out of hand. <laughs> You're a good uncle. Maribel saying hi to Darcia. And Granny saying hi to Katrina. Hi, Christy. How are you? Sorry that I'm so late. Hello, Laura. Hi to everyone in the chat. I hope you're doing good today. How are you, Christy? And Granny says, hi, Cam, Darcy, and all. Darcy is dancing. And Christy says, how do you do, Granny D? Katrina, thank you so much. Uh, I really do appreciate your super chat. Thank you. And this is for you. I'm trying to figure out which one I'm going to play. Let's see. I think we'll just do the OG. How about that? This is for you, Katrina. Thank you. I totally appreciate that. And everyone is saying hello and dancing. Thank you so much for that. Love that. It's so fun when everyone dances. Thank you for all greeting each other. I do appreciate that. So now we've got some Christmas socks by Sucret. S-U-C-R-E-T-T-E. -E. These are really cute. And these look like you could hang them on the tree. Look at how cute these are. This would be a great scrap buster. Love that. Let's see if we can uh, zoom in. It's not zooming. I love these little pom-poms around the edge here. Really cute, this little flower. And these are free. If you click the link at the very bottom, it takes you straight to the uh, blog. And the blog is called Lemon Lemon Dead lemondeadsucret.com. It's not opening on StreamYard, but it does open. So just click the link right here at the bottom. It'll take you to the free pattern for these adorable little Christmas socks. And then here we have a Christmas basket by Faye Lith, L-Y-T-H. I thought this was great for a little gift basket. This is using worsted weight, a five and a 3.5 millimeter hook. That's really nice. So pretty. It looks really sturdy too, doesn't it? And let's see. Granny says, giant squishy hugs, Christy. <laughs> Cammy says, Emma has a very big habit of making a mess of the shoes. I can watch Emma while talking to my mom and sister at the same time. That's awesome. You can uh, multitask. Rosie Posey says, hi, everyone. Hi, Rosie Posey. How are you? It's good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Cammy's saying hi to Granny. And Christy's saying hi to Cammy. Everyone's saying hello. Hi, Barbara Riggle Baker. How are you, Riggles? Thank you for coming in. Cammy's saying hi, Riggles. It's good to see you. Everyone is saying hello. So this is really cute. The Christmas Basket by Faye Lith, L-Y-T-H. And you can get this for free. 
This is using a worsted weight of yarn five and a 3.5 millimeter hook. And if you click this link right here at the very bottom, you can uh, go straight to your free pattern for this basket. Really cute. And then here we have a Christmas tree hat by Joe Edwards. We've got a lot of patterns by Joe Edwards. I'm going to have to do a spotlight on her, it looks like. And it's a J-O, J-O Edwards. And this is using a five millimeter hook and loops and threads, impeccable air and weight yarn, toddler kid, child, adult hat. Super cute. That'd be a great for a family Christmas photo, wouldn't it? Look at that. That's perfect. That's a really nice shot too. Really cute. So adorable. And then you could customize the colors on it too as well. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you can click on joetotheworld.com and there is your free pattern. And Granny's saying hello to Rickles. Good to see you. And Christy's saying hello to Barbara. Uh, Cammy says, my sister worked at my aunt's, my dad's sister's daycare. I volunteered at the same daycare for a number of years. Oh, that's why you're so good with children. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. So this is so cute. Christmas tree hat by Joe Edwards. And then we've got Christmas tree. So if you just want to put a Christmas tree on your table, this reminds me of like those old fashioned uh, ceramic ones. And this is by Helen Free, F-R-E-E, -E, using DK weight, a four millimeter and a two millimeter hook. And you can get it in US and UK terms as well. Super cute. Ooh, I love those. Those might do well at a craft show too, but I don't know how long they would take to make. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, look at the pink one. I love the pink one. Oh, wow. There's so many. A lot of people have made this. A lot of different variations. Ooh, that one's perfect, isn't it? Look at that one. You could put some battery-operated lights on it. Looks like this one has little, um, I don't know, little beads on it. Really cute. And it's called Christmas Tree by Helen Free. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the link, it takes you to um, a site called payhip.com. Let's see if this will open for us. And there is a link. It's not opening for StreamYard, but it is opening for me. And there is a link to download the free pattern on that. Katrina says, those are cute hats. Aren't they so cute? I love them. Oh, here we go. Let's see. So you can download now and you can download it and you'll get a PDF right here. You get three PDFs. So you just click that link right here and it says right here, free download. Isn't that nice? And then here are some more downloads that you can get also. Really handy. So let me know if you would like to take a look at any more of these cute little patterns. I know some of you came in late. So if you would like me to click on any more of these, um, let's see. Darcia says, I want to do this Christmas stockings again. You want to see the Christmas stockings, Darcia? Let's check it out. Are you talking about the uh, Granny Square ones? Is that what you wanted to see? These are by Whitney Lem, L-E-M-M-E. -M -M -E. This is a free Ravelry download, worsted weight and a four millimeter hook. Aren't those cute? And then here's two more. Are these the ones you wanted to see, Darcia? Because there's um, a set of little ones on here, too. And this is a free Ravelry download. And let's see here. Yes. Okay, that's good. And then Cammie says, can I see the two patterns after the bookmark? You sure can. Let's take a look. Whoa. Hold on. I almost went. I almost took us off of the page here. Okay, two patterns after the bookmark. Okay, this one is a Christmas mug, cozy. And this is by Joe Edwards. You are welcome, Darcia. Isn't that cute? And this is what it looks like laid out flat. So here's a little button right here. And then they crochet a little loop here. So it just hooks around. That'd be a great teacher's gift. Put a little Starbucks card in there. 
some candy, you're good to go. So there's that. And then it's for free. If you scroll down, you know the drill right here at the very bottom. You click that and then I'll take you right to the free pattern. And then this one is a Christmas toilet paper holder by uh, Joe Edwards as well. J-O. Really super cute. And this is for free. And this is um, Aaron Waite, five millimeter hook. And then you click the link at the very bottom. It'll take you straight to the free pattern right there. Love it. So if anybody wants to look at anything else, just let me know. I'd be happy to pull it back up for you again. I really love this wine bottle holder. These gift bags are cool. I really like this gift bag down here. Where is it? Or is it up here? Do, 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 do. Where is that gift bag? Right here. I love the Christmas pudding gift bag. That one is so cute, isn't it? Love that. And this is designed by Heather Mary Fernell. Very cute. And Cammie says, those are too cute. I agree, aren't they? So um, if anybody wants to look at anything else, let me know. If not, we will go ahead and uh, see you guys again on Friday with some more free patterns. And I do have a video coming out with some more Christmas stuff. I just have to record it. I have it all picked out for you guys. So thank you so much all for being here. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the Christmas patterns because I enjoyed show, showing them to you. And um, I hope to see you on Friday at 1 o'clock Central Standard Time. I have a lot of errands to run today, so I'm going to go ahead and head out of here. But I hope you have a great one. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you for the super chats, for the memberships, and just being here and spending time with me. And I will talk to you soon. See you Friday at 1 o'clock Central Standard Time. Bye, everybody. Thanks for being here. Thank you.